Google has invested over 300 million in an AI startup company called Anthropic. Now, Anthropic is an AI based startup that focuses on creating generative AI technologies. So, they create things such as AI chat boxes and large language models, which allow you to create various types of content. So, essentially, it is a rival to OpenAI and ChatGPT. And what makes this even more interesting is that the founders of Anthropic are former employees of OpenAI who left because they disagreed on the direction of the company so if there is going to be a fair rival in the future i guarantee that it's going to be anthropic because of course they've worked at open ai they know the ins and out of that company and they're able to take what they've learned over at open ai to improve and grow anthropic i came across anthropic while using po which is the latest ai chat box to be released by cora and the way that po works is that they have a variety of different models so they have gpt4 um, chat gpt and some other familiar um, models but as you can see they also have some different models which is called claude and claude plus and these are the large language models that were created by anthropic so these are their own unique large language models trained on their own data set to be able to compete with gpt4 and chat gpt so for instance if we click on this specific model we can see here that this is powered by anthropic and this is not available for public access as yet on the Anthropic website. If you go onto that website, you would have to join the waitlist. But if you have a PO account, then you can actually go ahead and play around with these models. My first impressions when using Claude was very impressing because I was surprised by the output quality in which we're able to get back. We were able to get back very intuitive answers, very in-depth answers, and um, the AI was able to answer my search queries very in-depth. So I was very impressed by the output quality. So I wanted to do a further review in which I do more um, tests in terms of inputs to see how it stacks up in comparison with GPT-4 and ChatGPT. The first input in which I asked it was, what is the code I need for a simple HTML website? I wanna see if we're able to generate code using Claude. And it looks as though you're able to do so. As you can see here, we get some specific code um, which shows us um, to create a simple website with a heading and two paragraphs and if you want to actually click on any of the highlighted or bolded um, text it will give you further clarification as to what that text is so if you want to explain some of these terms you can go ahead and click on that it will tell you more about that term and then you get some other terms in which you can then go ahead and do the same thing for if you need further clarifications and if you scroll down to the bottom of your output you will then be able to see some further uh, topic ideas in which you can ask the AI. So for example, you can ask it to give you an example of a basic HTML document. What are some of the new features in HTML5? How can I learn more advanced CSS and JavaScript? So now let's go ahead and actually ask it some more up-to-date information because we know the biggest um, restriction with GPT-4 is that it's only trained up to 2021. So let's go ahead and try to ask it some more relevant questions to see if it's trained uh, further than 2021. So when I asked it to give me the most important specs of the iPhone 14, it does say that um, it doesn't have any specs on the iPhone 14 because it has not been released as yet, and that's untrue. So I then asked it what is the latest iPhone that's been released, and it's told me that the iPhone 13 is the latest um, iPhone that was been released. So according to this AI, the latest iPhone was the iPhone 13 to be released, and that was released in 2021 of September. So I believe that is probably around the time in which this AI is trained up to. So we find the same limitation with Claude that we have with GPT-4 that you're not able to get more up-to-date or live information. I was trying to get out of the AI what date it was trained up to, but I wasn't able to get a specific date. So right now, I do think it would be probably around 2021 that it's trained up to. The next input in which I asked it to do was something a little bit more creative. So I've asked it to write a creative story between an apple and an orange in a bin. And here is a story. The apple sighed as he sat at the bottom of the bin. Another day, another bruise. The bin was filled with apples and oranges, and the frequent jostling left his red skin with permanent marks. Cheer up, said the orange next to him. At least we're not alone. Okay, so a pretty decent um, output here. Fairly creative. Now let's go ahead and actually try to ask it to write this back within a specific tone. Okay, so it's not able to emulate the style and tone of a particular person like Chris Rock. I can generate AI written stories and paragraphs in a generic style, but I do not have the capability to mimic a specific human's tone or voice. Okay, so that is um, a little bit of a drawback because I can definitely do that on GPT-4. After inputting the same input into GPT-3.5 on ChatGPT, I was able to write a creative story between an apple and an orange in a bin in the tone of Chris Rock. 
And as you can see, it was a pretty decent, uh, funny and creative output that we got back from GPT 3.5. So as you can see, there is a little bit of limitations right now with Claude, but I believe with Claude Plus, you should be able to generate more in-depth and more nuanced um, outputs using the more powerful AI. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I do have one message available on Claude Plus. So let's go ahead and try the same um, input here and see if we're able to get back some outputs. So as you can see, we were able to get something in the style of Chris Rock. So here we go. Here's the output in which we were able to get back. Um, we were able to get a story about a apple and an orange in the style of Chris Rock using Claude Plus. Um, as this is probably a more powerful large language model that they're creating. So um, as you can see, if you have Claude Plus, I do believe that you are able to then get more um, similar outputs compared to what you are able to get back with ChatGPT. Of course, you'd have to go ahead and read through this to see which output is better. Um, in my opinion, I still do think that you're able to get much more uh, better content output from ChatGPT because it has more context. It's trained for um, longer. And it's just able to understand your inputs much better compared to Claude. But Claude is looking very, very promising. Um, I do believe that this will be the only large language model that will be able to compete with OpenAI. I do not see Bard being able to compete with um, OpenAI or any of the other large language models. So that's my review of Anthropic's latest large language model, Claude. I do believe that this will be one of the major competitors with OpenAI, and it's very interesting to see what Google um, is able to do as they now have $300 million invested in their company, and they also have a 10% stake. I presume that they'll probably integrate Claude with Bard AI or just scrap Bard and use um, Claude because it seems to be a much more powerful large language model. But again, that's just my opinion. Time will tell. But let me know in the comments below if there's anything specifically that you would like me to generate with Claude, if there's any use cases in which you would like me to go through to see how it compares with ChatGPT. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.